All right, welcome back to my saw collection part two. Um, doing saw four and five, just all these box sets, all the editions, all the steel books, all the media books. But I also do have to get through two saw three editions I have recently picked up. So I'll just start with those. So we've got the saw three UK director's cut. So yeah, I just thought I'd pick this up. It was cheap. It took like five months to arrive. So yeah, let's pause if you know. Look at the back of the front. So yeah, two discs, exactly the same as the um, US Saw 3 Director's Cut. It's got this little pamphlet in here too. Advertisements. But yeah, it's like the PAL version of it, so yeah, another Saw 3 edition. And now we got the Saw 3 Blu-ray from, um, oh god, I'm not sure if it's Spain, something like that, Spain or Netherlands or Paris. I don't know, but they sent the wrong disc. This is actually the Saw 3 Director's Cut disc. I've got another Saw 3 Director's Cut on Blu-ray, but it's meant to be the theatrical disc, so it looks like I'm stuck with this one, but here you go. Yeah, really, not much. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to Saw 4. So we'll start off with the US edition, so this is the theatrical version. I'm trying to get that centered, actually, so... Yeah, it's got that little slipcase, so that's the front. There's the back. Pause if you want to read. Um, to identify that this is a theatrical edition with the um, slipcase, it'll have the um, green look on the side here. And it'll just have like, you know, intense down biter and all that. It won't have unread or uncut or anything on the top, but there's that. Probably my favorite version of Saw 4, the theatrical cut. Has a much better ending, so there's that one. All right. Now I saw for US Unread Director's Cut again the um, slipcase. I love these slipcases, they're so cool. So there's the front, back, and the spine if you want to read the spine. And there's a the disc, exactly the same, does not really have like much difference between like all the US versions, like slipcase wise. And I got the um, thing on the back there. Completely forgot I had those. But yeah, it's just the really old officialsaw.com, which is like no longer available online. There's that one. And we've got the Saw 4 Uncut Edition, exactly the same as the Unrated Director's Cut. There's like no differences at all. It's the exact same movie. I believe this is the um, Canadian release. Yeah, Maple, Canadian release. And that's the front, that's the back. And again, the disc, exactly the same. I'm not even going to take it out this time. But yeah, that's the US editions. Now we've got the Australian edition right here. Basic Saw 4. A lot going on in the artwork here. Like, a lot. And the disc. I really do love the look at the Australian discs like these. So that's the Saw 4 one. Nothing else in there. Again, the Australian version is just a regular unrated slash director's cut version. So, exactly the same film. Now, I got two of these. Got the Saw 4 Extreme Motorized editions. Um, so I bought one, I accidentally sent two, and I did have a third one, but I gave that away for my Saw Soundtracks challenge video, so there's both, I'll just show you one of them, but yeah, I'll just show you like, what one of them does, so I got both of those. So the Saw 4 Motorized Edition, it's just like, regular unrated Saw 4, but it has this really cool, um, case that it comes with it, and it talks to you, and the saw blade in here spins around, so yeah, I'll just show you the front, back, and sides first. And it comes with the um, Saw Rebirth comic as well, so here's what it says. You thought it was over, but the games have just begun. Oh, I can see my Saw Blades not spinning that well. I think my other one spins a lot better. Let's try. You thought it was over, oh, but the games have just begun. Yeah, that one spins a lot better. But yeah, I'll show you the insides now. So again, Saw 4 regular UK version, Extreme Edition, which is just the un unrated version. But slightly sped up, it's got the PAL version. And it comes with a Saw Rebirth comic, there's a disc, there's the comic. I'll just do a quick skim through of the comic here. There's actually two versions of the comic here. So I'll show you this version. i can just quickly skim through it. So as you can see, this one has the director's cut, like the making of the comic and all that. So there's that. 
the drawings and all that behind like the drawings and that and early stage, some artwork there. And you know, advertisement at the end and some really cool artwork there. And then in another version, or well, another version of the Saw Rebirth comic that you can originally get when Saw 2 like just released, that's when the original Saw Rebirth comic actually came out. I'll actually show you, so there's nothing on the back of this one, but this one you got the Billy puppet, and here's this comic. So it's like really just like the exact same thing, but there's like no director's cut or like making of or anything, just goes there, and then just the end there. So yeah, two slightly different versions, this one has like the making of, the other one is just regular plain. So, yeah, it's a Saw 4 Extreme Limited Edition, Motorized Edition. <clears throat> Pretty cool pick up, would recommend if you're looking for like really limited edition stuff. Well, so there's those two. Now we're going to the Saw 4 Media Book. So, there's the front. There's the back. I'll take it out of this little slipcase. Really do love these media books. Very limited edition. And they do have new Saw 1 media books out actually, so I might have to pick some of those up, but we'll see. Oh. Oh yeah, 6.1, which is really just 5.1. With added extra center. So we got the unrated version here. We got the um, you know, artwork and the text and that. Yeah, and this is all in, I believe, German. Yeah, German. That looks pretty cool. I like the making of behind the scenes, story writing, processes, techniques, and all that. Darren Bowsman, some stills here. Cast, crew, all that stuff. And that. And then we got another disc here, which is just the um, extras. Yeah. I really thought they were going to like add the um, that, that cool, theatrical edition as well, but nah, they just stuck with the Unraid and just added a lot of special features in the end, so there's the Saw 4 media book. Alright, getting on to Saw 4 steel books now. So we got the, um, I believe this is a Norwegian one, not really a fan of it because it just like cuts off here and it's not like symmetrical at all. So limited collector's edition. Spine back, very like minimal. I really do love these minimal ones, and there's the disc there. And I believe this is just the regular unrated version as well. And you got you know advertisements and that, like all the other steel books that they have with this company. So there's a Saw 4 one, and I saw 1, 2, and 3. I really need to pick up the third one, and yeah, other movies, but yeah, very um. Like minimalist, I really do like the minimalist, but this is like not symmetrical. I'm not really a fan of this one at all in terms of the design. But yeah, I really do like this thing on the back. I wish it was like a little bit pushed over to the left, but yeah, that's that steelbook. Now we've got the unrated and uncensored one. I really do love this steelbook, and it's got a um, Saw 5 like cinema ticket in there as well. So I believe this is from um, the Netherlands. Yeah, the Netherlands. Very good. Um, like steelbook, it's very symmetrical. It's actually in like embossed a bit. Like I'm not sure if you can see that, but it does really stick out. Ah, you won't be able to see that, but yeah, they stick out. It's like all like embossed. And there's a saw five. Well, thankfully it's a um. Yeah, it's got a little code down there. It's just say like a saw five like cinema ticket. Just present that to like any participating theatre. And you get a free showing for saw five. And you got two discs movie and like the special features. It's just a regular um, unrated edition as well, I believe. And I think, I don't know, I haven't really watched this version in a while, but yeah, it got some really cool artwork behind the steelbook, unlike the other one, the mausoleum trap. Pretty cool. i put these discs back in. And I'll slide that back over there. And that's that one, probably my favourite Saw 4 steelbook out there. Alright, another steelbook, it's a Saw 1 to 4 set, instead of like just regular Saw 4 set, or Saw 4 steelbook. So you got Tobin Bell on the front there, John Kramer. And on the back you got a lot of stuff, so it's got Saw 1 and 2 director's cut, and Saw 3 and 4 theatrical versions. Well they are actually um, censored theatrical versions, so there's like 
some stuff missing. But yeah, all DVD, Eric Matthews here from Saw 4. Really do love this artwork, it's very, very nice and this case is very smooth. It's got that reflection on it too. I really do love this still book. And there are all the discs. Um, I won't really take them out, it's just, um, not really much, it's just like the blood artwork in the background, I believe, with all the um, text and like a little saw blade on that side and that side. But yeah, that's all it really is. But yeah, I really do love the look of these discs, discs as well. Yeah. Alright, and that's the Saw 1 to 4 Steel Edition. I believe it's from um, Germany or um, Netherlands. One of those two, for sure. Alright, and lastly here we've got the Blu ray, the Saw 4 regular Australian Blu ray. Not really much, regular unrated version. Got a lot of special features there. Pretty basic standard edition, exactly the same discs, and you got, you know, the um, hair puller trap there too. It's artwork. So, yeah, that's Saw 4. Just going to Saw 5 now. Actually, before I go, I completely forgot I had this one. This is a Saw 1 to 4 UK box set. It's a quadrilogy box set, exactly the same as the um, Saw trilogy box set in terms of like the look of it. Except with a few like minor differences. So it's got Saw 1 Uncut, which is, I believe, is the. Um, well, in the UK and the US, the uncut version is completely different because the Saw 1 US uncut is basically the director's cut extended one and the Saw, I think the UK one's just theatrical. I'm not sure, I still haven't watched like the Saw movies in like a very long time. <laughs> and Saw 2 theatrical, Saw 3 and 4 regular unrated. Well, the extreme editions, they're both unrated anyway. Spine, back, exactly the same like artwork. And I'll take it out. And there's that. It's one big like slipcase box. I really do love this one as well. We've got the 3D Billy Puppet looking thing. Same on the back there. And like the Saw Quadrilogy, exactly the same. All the um, credits on the back, spine. And it's just regular discs as well. Not really anything interesting at all, but yeah, there's the discs. Alright, and that should actually do Saw 1 to 4, yeah. Oh. Oh. Excluding all the box sets that I own. Oh. Alright, and that's the Saw Quadrilogy. Alright, getting into Saw 5 right now, I'll just jump straight into it, starting with the Australian release. So this is the um, Saw 5 Australian release. It's the um, It says it's the uncut version, basically the unrated slash director's cut version. There's the front of the case and the back of it. Really do love the look of this one here too. Perfectly symmetrical. Favorite poster, which is you know strung in the water cube trap. And yeah, the disc. Exactly the same as the um, Saw 4 one, except you know red. But yeah, design's the exact same. And also with some of these Saw Australian editions, it's not really my old one. It's just my Saw 5 and 6 ones. You do get reversible artwork you can do. So that's what it came with, and just you know that one. I prefer the look of like the black one much better. Rather than the, um, you know, Tobin Bell face, I guess you say jigsaw face mask. But yeah, there's that. Just slide that back in. But yeah, with um, a few of the Australian releases, like Saw 1 to um, 6, you can get the reversible artwork. But I didn't have them in my other DVD ones. I only have them in the Saw 5 and 6 ones. So when I get to Saw 6, I've got to show you all that one too. Alright, that's the Saw 5 one. Basic, unrated director's cut version. Oh, we got yeah. All right, the US edition really do love the look of the slipcase. My favorite like slipcase out of all of them. So Saw Five Unrated Director's Cut. Front and the back. Don't mind the back. I just got the um card that it came with like in the actual DVD case. And there's a spine for you. All right, so it's a better look at the um back of the slipcase. And then you know this one right here. And they got the disc. Oh yeah, that's right, I had to put the discs in that way, because you put it in that way, it'll look different. So yeah, the um, people, I know a lot of people wonder why the disc is blue, but because for the uh, slipcase, it's meant to like, you know, be the water in Strum's like, you know, cube trap there. So yeah, basic unrated director's cut version. Favorite version of Saw 5, favorite slip cover of Saw 5 as well. And moving on to the, um, I believe this is the Netherlands one as well, yeah. So Saw 5 never really got its own steelbook. It's been included in like, you know, Saw like 1 to like 5, 6, 7, or even Saw 1 to 8 steelbooks. 
but it never got its own soul like Saw 5 like steelbook by itself. I'm not sure why, but they um did this in the Netherlands rather than their steelbook, so there's that. There's the spine, there's the back as well. Where is it? There we go. Yeah, it's a very odd thing. It's pretty um cool, but I would have much preferred a steelbook for my favourite Saw movie. And it just pops out like that. It's very, very weird. So you got disc one movie, just two special features. Got some really cool artwork here too. Just, you know, Seth Baxter and the tape there. Looks really, really nice. And the discs look pretty decent as well. I mean, I do have the entire, like, Netherlands collection on Blu-ray, so DVD's really inferior at this point in time, but yeah. I really do love the look of this box set, and it comes with like a little, you know, DVD advertisement thing. Yeah, nothing really special about it. But yeah, that's a Saw 5, um, Netherlands, Dutch, whatever. Not Steelbook, just like a weird DVD case it came with. And we'll just move on to Saw 5, Uncut Collector's Edition. It's basically the unrated Collector's Edition, but this is, this is the one from, um, Canada. So, like, literally no difference, it just says uncut instead of unrated. So there's the front, there's the spine, there's the back, and it's got, like, a little J card as well. The back's, like, a little bit different. I'll actually remove this for you. But, yeah, very minimal. Really do love the back of that, too. But, you know, I'll leave the um, little J card on there. Alright. But yeah, like the Saw 4 Motorized Edition, it says the exact same line the Saw Blade here spin, so let's play it for you. You thought it was over, but the games have just begun. And as you can see, the Saw Blade starts spinning before, or, yeah, during the um, speech rather than after this, like the line that Tobin Bell says. But yeah, exactly the same as the Saw 4 one. Oh, so that's that one. And it just comes with the Saw 5 Director's Cut, like black DVD case. Again, exactly the same as the unrated director's cut and the uncut version and all that. But yeah. Same disc. And it does come with this here. Which is a, um... I guess you could say a little introduction of, like, David Hackle's, like, take on, like, the Saw series. And it's got a lot of artwork here. The, um... The unrated one, it'll have like a little fold out thing, it'll just all fold out rather than like being put into like a notebook like this. But yeah, just got some real nice artwork here. Again, Saw 5 is my favourite Saw film, like mainly because like, you know, Hoffman's origin and all that. And plus the ending and the opening definitely has like one of my favourite and well, probably my favourite ending and like favourite openings of all time in the Saw movies. And yeah, that's that. Don't mind this. This is from a um, cheap barley copy I got. Really nothing interesting. Just keep it there for, you know, fun. Alright, and that's the Saw 5 Uncut Collector's Edition. Motorized, you know, box set, I guess you could say. But yeah, very good edition. Alright, next up we got the Saw 5 Media Book. I got this with the Saw 1 Media Book and like, you know, Saw 2, 3 and for like DVDs and then you know the Saw 5 media book as well obviously and like a set for 30 bucks so there's the front there's the spine there's the back again there's a lot going on in this one especially on the back but yeah I really do love the Strom head cage you know poster artwork all that very very good and you got this one Not much going on in the back, just, uh, you know, artwork, I guess you could say, still photography. Alright, so I got the Saw 5 Unraid disc here, and you got all the um, production notes and all that stuff going on here. Behind the scenes, artwork, all that, and talking about it, directing it, writing it, etc. Again, another German edition, I should state. Oh. Some really good artwork here. David Hackle there. We got some more artwork going on here. And yeah, that's it. And then you got, you know, the um, theatrical version here. 
I believe this is um censored as well, yes, they um censored theatrical version as well, so there's that, the Saw 5 limited collect edition media book from Germany. All I really need now is a Saw 6 and the Saw 7 media book, then I'm really set until Spiral comes out. Alright, almost at the end here of Saw 4 and 5, so we got the Saw Goreology. I used to have the old box set which didn't have like the talking, like, you know, Billy Puppet like audio thing playing here. But yeah, as you can see, it's an anamorphic 3D um, thing right there. You see Billy is there, yeah, he's gone. Alright, so there's the front, the spine, the back. Yeah, so it's just like the Saw 1 to 4 thing, so it now includes Saw 5, like, un well, Extreme Edition, but, you know, it's basically the unrated edition. And all on DVD, take that out, got the back of that, and the front of that right there. There is all the films. Saw 4, Saw 5. Yeah, really not much going on here. I will um, play the audio tape though, because you know, it plays it for from Zep 5, so let's listen to it. Yeah, I really love this. <laughs> Favourite Zep theme as well. Again, a really cool um, addition. If you can find it, I'd highly recommend picking it up. Make sure this is working though. I'm sure there's a way to like replace the battery in there, because it takes like a watch battery or something. But yeah, really cool saw box set here. All right, moving on, last two like discs or whatever DVDs, Blu-rays. So Saw Five standard Australian Blu-ray, unrated version. Not really much going on here. Same disc. I got Strum in the head cage there. Again, basic. If you want to pick it up, it'll have all the special features on there. So, yeah, and you watch the movie in like 1080p as well. So, if you want to pick up like a really good cheap version, it's got all the special features, unrated. Perfect. We got the US version here, the two disc unrated director's cut. Front, spine, back. Again, exactly the same. So, you got the um, Blu ray here, and then you got the um, digital copy. So, you have to have the code, and then you put in like a DVD player and like burn it or write it to it or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but it doesn't really work that much anymore because not many people do it anymore. So yeah, Saw 5, Director's Cut, or Unrated Director's Cut, and that's really it. Not much else going on in here. It's got the exact same special features as the um, previous Blu-ray here. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the Saw 4 and Saw 5 Part 2 Saw Collection. Um, Part 3, I'll probably do Saw 6, 7, maybe even Jigsaw, then yeah, that's really it, so that was all the Saw editions I've got for Saw 4 and 5, plus you know the ones from Saw 3, and yeah, that's pretty much it, see you in the next one.